All right. Well, here I am. And guess what? It finally came. My frogmonger finally came. I'm, um, I'm not as excited as I thought it was going to be, to be really honest, because, um, because I thought that, um, I thought it was going to be here a lot sooner. I think that if it had gotten here a lot sooner, then I would be a lot more excited. Um, I realized I've not made a video in a while. Look at those little feet in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just, let me just take this all in. This is some, uh, really nice, um, cardboard in there. Okay, so here we have our frog monger, dungeon dweller of Castle Grayskull. And then there's a nice little, uh, image of him and it matches the, um, this little this little drawing here on the uh on one side of the box so here it is all all painted and, and colored in um there there is our frog monger which um i'm actually surprised to learn that frogs have teeth i didn't realize that frogs had teeth i thought they had like um kind of like a I don't know if they, well, I guess they have bones, but like a bone in their jaw that crushes up bugs. I don't think they needed whole entire teeth. Uh, here is the back of his card art when they're, when they're these fancy Mattel, uh, Mattel Creations exclusives, they get the whole back of the card and it's so glossy and shiny. And then you got your embossed, uh, octopus guy and skeleton battler. Oh my gosh. And then also... I mean, well, okay, here's a little detail that's really interesting to point out. Um, that little, that little, uh, I don't know what you call it, that some kind of a weapon thing or like a time key, maybe, I don't know. And then he's got his little laser blaster gun, which I'm really excited to, to hold and touch and stuff. And then it looks like he's wearing a jetpack. So we'll open him up and kind of, and see what kind of stuff he's got going on. Uh, okay, under this light, his, um, what do you call that? Loincloth, I guess, looks more purple. When I was looking at it without this light, this ring light here, uh, it looked kind of brown. Okay, we're gonna open them up. Get ready. Get ready to get ready to cringe, all you mint on box people. Oh yeah, and one of the reasons why I haven't made videos in a long time is because, um, well, I haven't I haven't had a lot of um, like characters. I haven't had any like figures. I couldn't, I couldn't find any, uh, in the stores or even on, like, Big Bad Toy Store to buy and, and open, um, so, I, and I've also been sort of busy, I was, like, swimming a lot, and then, um, what else was I doing? Oh, and then I was, like, doing art, like, I painted that picture of my grandma, and then I posted it on Facebook, and then, like, some lady wants me to draw or paint a picture of her grandma. So I'm going to, I'm working on that. I got some, like, pre preliminary, I think preliminary is the right word, layers of paint in there just to kind of, like, map it all out. And then I have to add all the detail. Um, how interesting. Just drawing, painting pictures of people's grandmas. How wonderful. Okay, speaking of grandmas, we're going to open up this frog. Free, free from the dungeon of Castle Grayskull. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, just let me. Mm, smells great. Well, let's show off all of his things first. Okay, so here is his little gun. He's got a little dot of black paint there. The detail, I'm telling you, it was astounding. The attention to detail. His, uh, it's a silver plastic, so it's like a. It's got like a sheen to it. I I bet you can probably tell. So it's not just like a gray, like a flat gray. You know, it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. And then here is his little jetpack, which I guess, let me see about ripping all of his pieces and parts off. So, um, oh, this is really stuck in there. Oh, and this ruined my whole entire birthday, by the way, let me just tell you. So I ordered this and it was like a couple days before my birthday. And, uh, and I was like, yay, that's going to be so great. And then it never came until finally like a week ago, but I was out of town when it came. So I had to be like on my vacation, like, oh my God, I hope it doesn't get porch pirated and stolen. Ooh. But it didn't clearly because it's here now. Okay. So I want to see a couple things. His comic. Oh my gosh. Look at how many pages. I can't read all that. Okay. So we'll just look at all the pictures and I'll probably never read it because it's just too many, too many pages. So there's the sorceress. 
and He-Man, and then he's in the um, on a swamp, it looks like. And then He-Man's covered with a bunch of frogs. And then there they go, and there's that. And then um, he's like, no, I'm turning into this. And then, uh, oh, well, what did he turn into that from that? I don't know. Well, I guess I would know if I would read it, but I'm not going to do that. Then he's ribbiting around, ribbit, ribbit. And then there's a whole bunch more. And a big dragon, oh my gosh. And the end, okay. So are his pieces, do his pieces come off? Let's see. Let's see if all of his pieces will come off. I mean, the arm... Oh, there we go. Okay, the arm... One of the arms I was trying to pull off, I guess it was this one, just doesn't want to come off very easily. Uh, but we'll pull them apart there, and then we'll do the, the boot. Oh, man, I'm so glad I have not yet bumped the uh, camera. Oh, this... I think this is a new foot, or a new uh, boot. Because I don't recall seeing any of the other guys with this i think this would be pretty cool for a merman leg even um i like this color of green it's like a really bright like spring almost like fluorescent green um with yellow paint blotches all over um and then i would just want to take off his head just because i like i like pulling people's heads off it's just part of the fun there we go. A nice, satisfying snap. No uh, torso breakage. So that's wonderful. That 10 out of 10 in my book. Uh, oh my gosh. I guess my, my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? My steroids didn't kick in. So I'm just so weak. I can't pull his arm off. Okay. And then his hands come off. Okay. So that, that's so fun. He doesn't come with one of those little, uh, little papers that say rip all of his pieces off. So that's a little bit sad. Um, he's got a, this, is this a rocket? pack i guess it's a rocket pack it's a rocket that's a rocket that's an antenna oh it's kind of soft i guess just this part is like rubbery that part is rubbery but then the rest is like a rigid like hard plastic it doesn't really like snap into place it just kind of like bounces around there but whatever um he's probably just going to be just stuck on the shelf somewhere one thing I, I've really, uh, I, I've really enjoyed was my, my idea to put them in those little shadow boxes because that really has been keeping them non-dusty or I, it's been keeping them very dust free, especially that dang Grizzlor. Like I bet I would have to take like dust off, like a can of dust off to him because, uh, he would just be just a, a big fluffy gray mess from all the dust okay and then so he doesn't come with any extra hands um or any extra head but he does come with this really cool um it, it's almost like like retro futuristic if that makes sense like this would be futuristic but it would be something from the 50s that they would show as futuristic this is his left hand this is his right hand okay yeah so then i don't know why i have to do it like that and then this is how we hold things. Yeah, it looks like uh, like 1950s futuristic. Like this is what it's gonna look like in the future, but then like clearly it doesn't because it because of just you know time and whatever. Uh, okay, so then you gotta hold it like looks like you gotta really shove it back in there in the back of his hand. You see, like he's got a little extra, a little extra. Um, I don't know what you call it, like a little groove there where it would just kind of like seems like it would hold it really tight. Uh, there you go. I guess you really got to force it. Um, there you go. Okay. So then there he is holding his, uh, his really cool gun, his Ray, Ray gun. And, uh, we'll show all of his articulation. So his head is on a ball joint. So it's articulated. His arms go in, in all kinds of directions. He doesn't seem to hold that gun very well. Uh, bend at the elbow the wrist rotates and then it also bends it bends there the waist rotates the legs go all over he bends at the knee he also kind of does he rotate at the knee no he just bends at the knee rotates at the boot and then the ankle will will rotate and it will bend and i i know that i probably did that really fast and not i hope it was all lined up on the camera so he doesn't really like to hold his gun too much Maybe if you just kind of put it up there, just got to put it in there and just hope for the best. I really do like his little, his little froggy hands. Those are cool. I really like his little froggy feet. I think these are Skeletor feet and then just like a new boot for him. Uh, that's my, that's my uh, guess. 
really really a beautiful figure i really like this one i'm glad that i i am glad that i woke up really early and got this one and uh, i'm glad that i was able to get it and it is really nice i'm glad that i have it finally even though it took a really long time um and hopefully i'll make more videos soon because i ordered more oh yeah that's what i was gonna say they announced a whole bunch of um new new uh new figures to the line and also to masterverse i've been really enjoying the masterverse figures i've been getting a little bit spoiled with those ones because um they uh they do come with extra hands i think that's why i was disappointed with this one not coming with extra hands or extra head or extra anything um but i'm glad that i have this guy finally and I will hopefully do another video soon because hopefully I'll get more of these guys coming in the mail. Okay, that's my video. Adios.